guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing an old-fashioned flip through so let's just get into it so all through the year if i have papers that i come across that are halloween or remind me of halloween i'll throw them in a box and then when it comes time the end of september to make my halloween journal what i'll do is i'll pull my box out and go through everything that i've thrown in there all year long from you know october 1st till september 25th normally I go through all of those papers and I decide what's going to go in my Halloween journal for that year. And that's what I'm showing you here. This is just a little bit of everything I had in the box. And I'm kind of going through deciding what's going to go in this journal, what's not going to go in this journal. And I thought I would just share just a snippet of this with you because it is really funny. I was going to film it and do talking and everything, but... One, my camera battery died and it didn't record the beginning. And then two, it's like I got so wrapped up in looking at everything that had gone in the box and thinking, ooh, this would be cool and oh, I could do this, that I totally forgot I was filming. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek and on to the actual finished journal and the flip through. I went with the sun behind the clouds and the bird and the lady that I like so much on the cover. Otherwise, the cover's the same, just plain. I had this um, tassel. It's a bow and just a bunch of ribbons and then vintage Halloween and some torn paper and then some beads. If you'd like to see how I made that, leave a comment down below and I will do a video on that. I have pockets inside and I put just some materials. So if I wanna decorate a page at some point, I have things to decorate with. And they're all basically Halloween related. Also for notes, I like to use my journals. I'm a chronic list maker. I'm always making lists. And so they get filled up pretty fast, but sometimes I'll decide, oh, I have a vision for a page and I'll kind of do it like an art journal. So if you look at my journals, they're half list and half art journals. It's two pockets in one. There's a pocket inside the vellum and then there is a pocket behind it as well. And I just decorated it with a scratch, one that you're supposed to rub, a transfer rub. I decided to just glue it down. I did not use any kits this time. I just went with whatever papers I had thrown in my box. And then these are all just from Halloween kits of some sort. Or maybe I picked them up at an estate sale or thrift store. But all my pages are just pages that I saw throughout the year and threw them in this kit so I could use them in a Halloween journal. If you'll notice, there's lots of pockets in here because I might want to put stuff if I go to Halloween Disney, Disney Halloween, I might get some ticket stubs or some paper, something that I want to stick in here. I have plenty of room to write about that if I decide to do that. And like I said, lots of room for list and to decorate. I didn't decorate it very much because I thought I might want to do it as part of the journaling process. Because to me, that's really kind of, um, I don't know, Lethar not lethargic, but kind of meditative. It's like meditation for me to write in my journal, but to also decorate the page. So I have a lot of plain pages. Some people like to decorate all their pages and then have just a bit of room to write. That's just not me. But remember, everybody has to do what they like. It's about what you like. I'm just here to give you some ideas. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's a pocket right there. Tuck a, a belly band. And up here is uh, just some uh, a pen with some buttons and some spider web and stuff. 
up there. Have a lot of pockets, a lot of Halloween stuff, and a lot of charms on pins. I ended up making the purple owl tuck spot right there. Another just plain envelope. Then this picture is of somebody celebrating Halloween. How appropriate. So it has to go in there. I did two signatures. And if you watched at the beginning, it's like 140 pages, something like that. This is a pocket that I made. It just has a bunch of stuff to decorate if I decide I want it. And this has a skeleton for a tab. The pages are crooked. They're all over the place. That just makes it fun. Here and here. And there's like fortune teller. These guys that have been gessoed on, they feel really cool. Skeleton, tags, just a bunch of stuff, you know, that you need when you have a journal. Then our bag that I've showed you a couple of times in the back with just more decor stuff if I want to turn it into an art journal. And there is my Halloween journal. So guys, I hope you like this kind of how I put a Halloween journal together. Basically just throw a bunch of papers all throughout the year that remind you of Halloween in a box. End of September, pull them all out, have a big mess, and then turn it into a really cool journal. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Also, I asked you a couple of questions during the video. If you could answer me down in the comments, that would be awesome. Or just give me a shout out and say, hey, I love this video. Take care. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye.